This is video tip session for moment redistribution factor. In Midas Engine, user can manually define the moment redistribution factor, and we will look into the Eurocode specification for more detailed information. In Eurocode 2, which is for RC structure, you can find linear elastic analysis with limited redistribution condition in clause 5.5. If you go down to the point 4, it is specified that you can apply the delta values to the continuous beams or slabs which have the ratio of the length of adjacent span in the range of 0 0.5 to 2. Again, this is for continuous beams or slabs. User will have to calculate and input these delta values as moment redistribution factor in Midas Engine. If hinge is created in the negative moment position in the continuous beams or slabs, deflection will be caused and the moment will be redistributed. Thus, the negative moment will be decreased and the positive moment will be increased. This takes into account the plastic behavior of concrete. The delta values can be calculated differently depending on FCK value using the following equations. These k-values are provided by the National Annex, but it can be also calculated manually, or recommended values can be used which are provided by the Eurocode. Next parameters that you have to pay attention is xu value. It is the depth of the neutral axis at the ultimate limit state, ULS, after moment redistribution. The depth of neutral axis increases with reinforcement, which means that XU values will be increased, resulting the increase in delta values as well. However, as it was mentioned, delta is the ratio of redistributed moment to the elastic bending moment. This means that if the ratio is big, not a big portion of moment was redistributed. So if there was a lot of reinforcement, it increases the XU values, so less amount of moment is redistributed vice versa. Once you finish calculating these delta values, input these values into Midas Engine, to consider the moment redistribution effect. Mm -hmm. 